like you're falling everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am filming a lip swatch video i am swatching the essence color boost mad about matte liquid lipsticks i am also wearing one of them today so this i'm wearing well maxwell lip liner as well as which one was it i love you me neither if you guys want to see what all of these look like on me then keep watching. Okay, so first I'll start with the color that I just had on, but I had the Max or lip liner with it. So this is the shade I Love You, Me Neither. It's got a really different shaped applicator too. It's kind of like an hourglass in a way, like it tapers into the middle. It's very light, like a light color. And then we'll let this dry. Okay, so this is it dry. <laughs> As you can tell, it kind of, I have dry lips, even though I moisturized them in the previous tutorial, so ignore that. For me personally, I would only wear this with like a darker lip liner because it's just too light for my complexion. Yeah, for someone with fair skin, you might it's worth a try. It's very, very matte. It also looks more pink on my lips than in the tube and that could be my own lips and undertone. Once again, this is the shade I Love You Me Neither. I'm gonna go swatch the next colour. So this is the shade Dusty Romance. Highly pigmented liquid lipstick with a dusty matte finish that dries to stay. Second skin feel. Oh that's pretty. Oh yeah, I like this colour. It's like a really nice nude, dusty romance. And a little dry. Okay, this is dry. I think already this might be my favorite color just because it's like a beautiful nude shade. It's kind of really close to my lip color. So probably might need like a little bit of a darker lip liner, but this is definitely like one of the shades or in that shade range that I just love. Like it's such a pretty, <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is cracking today, but it's just a, such a pretty shade. So yeah, once again, this is shade Dusty Romance. Okay, in between um, swatches, I'm just applying some lip balm because my lips are barely hanging on. So this is the next shade. I'm confused and I have already one that's in like nude. Next up, we have the shade Wanna Play. That's what that one looks like. That's really pretty, kind of similar to my nail color. Mm. Cute like pinky, like a mid pink. Let's wait for it to dry. That's it dry and it looks like a pretty medium toned pink. This would probably go really well with sort of liner, which is like, to be fair, the lip liner I, I add for anything. That just kind of defines the lip a bit and it's in the same shade film. Yeah, do you like this? But so far, I still love the shade before. So yeah, once again, this is shade Wanna Play. The next color I have is the shade Dangerously Yours. This looks like it might be a really cute mauve shade. Let's see. Oh. It's a lot darker than I thought, but it's a really nice shade. Now we'll just wait for this to dry. Okay, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this one. It's kind of like a plum pink. Like it's 
a lot darker than I thought. Also, I forgot to show you guys if these are transfer resistant. Yes, aside from that tiny little bit. Yeah, she is a nice shade. And I'm confused because obviously it looks a bit lighter in the two, but the color is completely different. So I'm not mad at it because it's super pretty. So once again, this is Dangerously Yours. Two more to go. I've got a red and a brown. I really thought I had one more, but surely I think this is it because I don't think I would have bought seven. Okay, next up, I have the shade... Should I do this one first? Red always stains. Okay, we'll just do this. Next up, we have the shade Seeing Red. Ooh, it's looking like more of a red, orange red. Okay, no, I was wrong. We'll just let this dry. Okay, so that's it dry. She's more of like a playful red. I, I would think I would red, describe it as like more of a coral red. Like it's not um, blue based. But it's just like a more fun, summery red. So yeah, I was expecting it to be a lot darker, but you know, not mad at it. So yeah, once again, this is Seeing Red. Okay, last color we're swatching is the shade Magnetic Gloom. So this looks like a brown or burgundy. Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be nice. Ah. Showing up more of a like cherry red. It's like a very deep red. But yeah, we'll wait for it to dry and then see what it looks like. Okay, so that's it dry. It's a really pretty shade. It looks a lot darker in person than it does on camera. I really do like this. It's gonna be a tough call between which one's my favorite because this is stunning. Super pretty. So once again, this is the shade Magnetic Gloom. Tough call, I think, for most wearable. I think my favorite shade will have to be Dusty Romance because it's just like a beautiful nude and I love nudes. And then possibly followed up by this shade that I'm wearing now is Magnetic Gloom because this is also stunning. So yeah, these two are my faves. All right, so that's the end of the video. Let me know what which shade was your favorite out of all of the ones that I swatched. Oh, also let me know if you guys have tried these before and what your thoughts are on them. If you love watching lip swatch videos, then please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because I upload videos, new videos every single week. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Recording? Yes. Fudge. Why does it happen every time? I'm gonna go this way. And it's really dark over there, but that's okay. Was that a good outro? I don't even know. Surely it'll be okay, yeah? Hopefully. Yeah. Do I have to go down a bit, I think? Let me see. Is that better? I wish I had a response. It's not there. Sarah Plants. <laughs>